So here's the C100 connector on the stock harness, and this is where my vehicle speed signal goes on the stock truck. It goes through this connector to the dash. So it is, there's a dark green with a white stripe, and that's your pin 50 on your green or red connector. It goes directly to this. So what I'm going to do for testing is I'm just going to tie in a wire to that and then just run this into the cab and connect it inside. All right, so now I've got this white wire just crimped onto there for testing. And we'll see if we can get this thing working. All right, so in the cab, I dropped the little panel that has the computer in it underneath the glove box. So underneath the computer is this little tiny, it's like a translator box or something. And that's where the vehicle speed sensor wires go to. And that's these green and purple, it's a twisted pair wire right there. So it goes into this little box. And then what I did was I checked these wires and I just stuck my meter like this on each wire. Then over here, I have the gauge cluster pulled out and this is the gauge cluster connector. So I just went through and checked to see where wires were going. So on that little translator box, there's a light blue wire with a black stripe and it goes to this third pin right here. So my resistance drops to zero, so that's the wire. So what I'm going to attempt is to tie my vehicle speed sensor signal from the PCM to this wire and see what happens. All right, I got my super sketchy wiring all hooked up and I just got it right outside. So nothing's smoking, engine is started. So now we're going to see what happens. All right, so it works. So that blue wire coming out of the this little box right here, light blue wire with a black line is the speedometer signal. So now I'm gonna redo this wiring, clean it up some, make sure I don't catch anything on fire, and put the whole dash back together. Because you had to pull the whole dash apart to get to that connector back here. But now you know, if you got 94 or similar with that box, Blue wire, black stripe, you're all set. All right, so I'm ready to test out my speedometer speed to see if I need to calibrate it. So the way I'm testing it out, I've got my GPS speed pulled up on my phone. This is the broken phone. Like I said, you only need a phone with GPS. It doesn't have to have SIM card. Then I'm going to, on my test track, I can do about 10 miles an hour for a good five seconds, I think. So I'm gonna try to hold it right at 10. We'll see what the GPS speed says. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too shaky and you could see that when I had 10 on the speedometer, it was about 10 on the GPS. So it looks pretty accurate to me. The LS computer puts out 4,000 pulses per mile and a lot of the GM is 4,000 pulses per mile. I wasn't sure with a truck this old being a 94, but it looks like the speedometers on these are calibrated for 4,000 per mile also. I'll need to test it on the street I can get up to 55 crews at that. I'm not going to film that because I don't want to go flying off the road trying to film, but I'll test that out, make sure it's accurate at a higher speed, and then calibrate from there if I need to.